Classroom Observation Report Gina Bello Gutierrez Introduction This Classroom Observation Report is designed to inform about the teaching practice of an ESL teacher in a language school. This report is intended to be informative and descriptive rather than evaluative. The participant in the observation is a non-native English speaker who teaches at an IEP school to professional international adults who seek to communicate better in English and in their academic and or workplace settings. The findings included in this report will be used to validate the theoretical framework acquired during the course TESOL curriculum design in the classroom as a requirement for the Masters of Art in TESOL at Notre Dame and the Namur University. Teaching context, students. The students in this school come from many different places from all over the world. The language represented in the classroom ranges from Spanish, German, Thai, Vietnamese, Dutch, and Japanese. The age of the students in this particular class ranges from 20 to 30 years old. The students' academic background starts from high school students to graduate students with master's degrees. The goals to study English also vary from maintaining an F-1 visa status to enroll in graduate school or to find a job in the Silicon Valley. The setting. The classroom's atmosphere is welcoming, friendly, and family-like, allowing students to integrate in the U.S. culture. Also, the atmosphere in and out of the classrooms during the activities and field trips is very supportive, according to the teacher. The classroom is also arranged under the principles of a traditional classroom. That is, students' desks are set up facing the teacher, the teacher's desk is at the front, and so it is the whiteboard. This setup allows all the students to see the teacher and the whiteboard or the projector. Lesson discussion with the teacher. Criteria development process. The teacher elicited information to observe students' participation when developing group work, validate the grading of activities displaying higher order thinking skills such as evaluating and synthesizing. Also, she wants to know about the classroom environment and its relationship to promote social justice. On the other hand, the teacher wants to get some insights through the lens of the observer about how the lesson was organized from the instructional objective, motivational settings, and critical reflection. The criteria displayed was focused on the learners. Criteria number one, students participate actively and voluntarily in individual and small group work. Criterion number two, students demonstrate progress by using various levels of thinking. Criterion number three, students have equal opportunities to work on their own habits and beliefs. Focus on the teacher. Criterion number four, instructor organizes lesson with clear and measurable instructional objectives. Criterion five, Instructor uses practices that increase students' motivation and foster a growth mindset. Criterion 6. Instructor leads students in a structured reflection on class learning activities. Materials and methods. Teacher's evaluation of the material was based on the students' attitudes and interest, proficiency level, and the context where the materials were used to be, according to McDowell, Shaw, and Matsuhara, 2013. The reasons for adaptation are supported by McDowell, Shaw, and Matsuhara because the teacher was adding a close activity for vocabulary development. It was a reordering of the content to match it to the cultural content of the lesson, and also to simplify the lesson for time constraints. Overview of the lesson observed. Purpose of the lesson. 
The purpose of this lesson was to inform students about the topic at hand. Also, the students are, were able to develop some critical thinking skills around the topic through a guided discussion. And finally, the students should master high register vocabulary that was used in a specific area of knowledge. Lesson overview. The teacher introduced the topic of the lesson, emotional health. In this time, the students were given a handout with discussion questions as a brainstorming activity to activate background knowledge. Following that, the teacher also provided a handout with vocabulary, specifically with a close activity. And in this activity, the students have to familiarize with the vocabulary that they will be presented in the TED Talk video that will be continuing. Before the video though, the teacher went over the vocabulary and the activity itself and provided feedback for language use and correction. The teacher in this time used Google Docs uh, to write everything down and this information was projected on the screen. After the explanation and review of the vocabulary, the teacher presented a tech talk called Why We All Need to Practice Emotional First Aid by a psychologist named Guy Winch. And here, the students have to develop two activities. The first one was a listening activity where they have to just listen to the talk and also to develop some note-taking activities. And in this case, they have to fill in the chart that was given in the handout while they were watching the video. Finally, the students get together in a post-watching video discussion where, again, the teacher provided a guided discussion question questionnaire after completing the task of reviewing the vocabulary and watching the video. Classroom observation findings. Focus on students, the criteria, group dynamics, interactions, and interest. The group dynamics developed during this observation was about small group work and some individual work, depending on the activity. The interaction with the teacher and the other students was cautious, welcoming, and developed in a familiar atmosphere. The interest was enhanced. The criteria developed was in regard of the participation, progression in level of thinking, and equality. Participation was active and voluntarily. However, sometimes the teacher have to call in for answers and to respond questions, display questions from the teacher. The level of progression of thinking was from defining when they were working on the vocabulary development activity to inferring and generalizing information after watching the video and a pause discussion. The equality, the teacher and the students have the freedom to express their opinions freely and in, a way, in, an, equal, uh, in an equal way. Focus on the teacher. Criteria. Context of teaching. The context of the teaching was developed in small groups, especially when they were talking about brainstorming activities or discussion activities. The roles of the teacher, according to Magdo, Sho, and Max Uhara, were mainly the monitor, facilitator, assessor, resource, and technician. The clarity of the instructions were clear and direct. And the teacher timed, took time was about 70% of the time of a class and primarily for displaying questions. Also, the emotional support, the teacher cared and respected students' opinions. The effective use of paper handouts, video, and Google Docs projected on the screen were mainly the materials used by the teacher. The classroom management was smooth and effectively managed. And the activity itself 
was based on discussions. It was there was a class activity exercise. There was a listening and some annotating activities included. Correction and feedback. The teacher provided positive encouragement, was very supportive and very and responsive to the questions from the students. The motivation was familiar, good humor, and somewhat, somewhat alert atmosphere. The criteria developed was in terms of the measurable objective, which in general terms were clear, half expectations were achieved. The practices for students' encouragement was through the use of personal stories to overcome fears, and the reflection, which included some reflection and some disagreement, which was evident during the observation time. Suggestions for improvement. The debriefing discussion with the teacher. The teacher demonstrated high standards in her teaching practices, allowing students to define a topic through the lens of technological aids and materials that effectively engage students in discussion and reflection. Although there were some technical issues to display the lesson, the teacher successfully completed her lesson. The teacher finalized her reflection saying, this lesson was better than expected. Materials and methods. The teacher's evaluation of the material was based on the students' attitudes and interest, proficiency level, and the context where the materials were used to be, according to McDowell, Shaw, and Matsuhara, 2013. The reasons for adaptation are supported by McDowell, Shaw, and Matsuhara because the teacher was adding a close activity for vocabulary development. It was a reordering of the content to match it to the cultural content of the lesson and also to simplify the lesson for time constraints. Conclusion and final remarks. The concluding remarks. The lesson observed has its ups and downs during this application. There were time constraints that impeded the whole completion of the lesson, as well as some technical difficulties that were resolved successfully. However, in general, as expressed by the teacher, the lesson was successful because the instructional objectives were met and the students were responsive and engaged for the majority of the activities. This class had a total of nine students as again, there were some technical issues when the teacher wanted to play the tech talk, but they were successfully resolved. Most of the time, teacher had to call in the students to answer questions. There were only four students who volunteered their responses. Students are allowed to use internet-based devices such as laptops and smartphones. However, the teacher said that this was a little bit disruptive, but she allowed it to use because she is been treating the students as adults. Also, the classroom arrangement was limited to a movable chair desk. In general, this was a, this was a classroom with several problems, but also several successes. The teacher was happy with the final uh, outcome and the students seemed to be engaged.